Now, we will be doing these magical things. These are um, brownie recipe jars. Little. Okay. So, they're really handy dandy. Again, I'm going to use many technical terms throughout this video. Handy dandy being one. And, um, well, they have walnuts. So, it basically comes with all the ingredients pretty much pre-measured and then you just have to add wet ingredients to it. So, we need two medium eggs. So, we have them. I'm not going to grab them out. Um, we have the chocolate brownie mix and then we need 125 grams of butter. Look at him with the butter. I wouldn't normally mind, but this is a lot of butter. So, we have our butter. We will now proceed to cut. It's fine. I'm a bit eager. <laughs> So we have three little bits from earlier, and then I'm going to take this chunk. You have a look at it. Eh? I still haven't hit. Ah. Oh. Hey. So here we have 125 grams of butter. So the first thing we do is we preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Grease the baking tin which is actually quite handy dandy because I have the last stick of butter. That's oh. done. Now my lovely assistant can add the butter thing. Now here I have this. Here's one I've found here. <laughs> Non-stick baking spray. Yes. I will take it off the counter and spritz. Yeah. Alrighty. We're all getting greased up in here. We have our large bowl. We are going to add in a large bowl, mix eggs and butter together. Oh, that's handy handy. So we have butter going in. Well done, butter. And then we have our two Glorious eggs. Do you do them straight into the bowl? Yeah. Well, okay. sometimes it's, it varies. Okay. From a uh, person to, no, from egg to egg. It's providing I'm careful enough not to get the small shells and stuff, which sometimes, especially on a bowl like that, where it's a nice a clean lip, you can get a clear crack. Okay. Or oh, hurry up. I'm oh, yeah. So now we are going to mix this until smooth. Let me make sure it's on. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to stir it. Just slowly. The butter doesn't want to go. It looks very violent. So this is what the chocolate seed. Want me to bring it up close? Yeah. My lovely assistant, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Up, Yay. up, up, up. Looking hard. So it's quite chunky the ingredients. Yeah. Okay. So now we add the chocolate brownie mix to the bowl and mix well. So Haley is just rubbing. Mm. Chocolate chip. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Use a spatula, use a spoon. It's going. Oh. Oh, I had well a brownie. Done. I can't remember the last time I had a brownie. I don't like brownies at all. Really? I don't yeah. like fudge brownies. I like homemade brownies like this. Really? Because I feel like they taste better. But if you go to like most places. Or your thing and get it going. There. Oh, oh, bring it up a soda. <clears throat> or do you want me to do it for this time? No, it's okay. All the chocolates. Break them. The beef cut. Come on, there is a ball and it's gonna come out. Oh my god, it's so I'm gonna slap it. I'm gonna slap it. And look, there's a blob left. No, that's a big, very big blob. Half that blob. Yeah.
snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me try and take it out of the, the dish and do a taste test on it okay guys so these are Kerry's brownies and as you can see there's quite a nice texture I'm not a great brownie lover but I will get the kids to try one and this is her angel delight um, dessert as you can see it's a strawberry mousse with strawberry something else and the white cream and sprinkles on top she's done really well but it seems to have taken us all day to do the bacon so i think tomorrow i will make my mince pies <laughs> 